Hello, and welcome to this video lecture. In this video, we will talk about powers and roots. Let us start by talking about the definition of power. Power is the result that arises when a number called the base multiplies itself a certain number of times. The number of times the base multiplies itself is called the exponent. Power comprises of the base and the exponent. When a number, a, multiplies itself n times, we have the product a to the power of n, which means the nth power of a. a times a times a up to n times is a to the power of n. For example, 3 squared equals 3 times 3 equals 9, and 3 to the power of 4 equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 81. 9 and 81 are the second and fourth powers of 3, respectively. 1 over 3 whole cubed equals 1 over 3 whole times 1 over 3 whole times 1 over 3 whole equals 1 over 27. 1 over 27 is the third power of 1 over 3. 2 to the seventh power equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 128. 128 is the seventh power of 2. Negative 2 whole cubed equals negative 2 whole times negative 2 whole times negative 2 whole equals negative 8 is the third power of negative 2. Decimal 5 whole cubed equals decimal 5 whole times decimal 5 whole times decimal 5 whole equals decimal 1, 2, 5. Decimal 1, 2, 5 is the third power of decimal 5. Let us talk about the definition of square roots. Square root. The square root of a positive number, n, is a number, m, such that m squared equals n. That is, the square root of a positive number, n, is the number m, which, when multiplied by itself twice, gives n. Every positive number, n, has two square roots, one positive and the other negative. For example, square root of 4 is 2. And negative of square root of 4 is negative 2. Because if m is an integer such that m squared equals 4, then m squared equals 2 2 squared. Therefore, m squared minus 2 squared is equal to 0. So, m minus 2 whole times m plus 2 is equal to 0. Thus we get m equals 2 or negative 2. Therefore, m is 2 or negative 2. Let us talk about the definition of cube roots. Cube root. The cube root of a number, n, is a number, m, such that m cubed equals n. That is, the cube root of a number, n, is the number m, which, when multiplied by itself three times, gives n. Every number, n, has one cube root. Cube root of n, that is, the cube root will, take the same sign as that of n. For example, the only one cube root of negative 27 is cube root of negative 27 equals cube root of negative 3 whole cubed.
equals negative 3. Because if m is an integer such that m cubed equals negative 27 equals negative 3 whole cubed, that is, m cubed equals negative 3 whole cubed, then m cubed minus negative 3 whole cubed equals 0. So, m cubed plus 3 cubed equals 0. So, m plus 3 whole times m squared minus 3m plus 3 squared whole equals 0. So, m plus 3 whole times m squared minus 3m plus 9 whole equals 0. m squared minus 3m plus 9 is always positive, as m squared minus 3m plus 9 equals m squared minus 3m plus 9 over 4 plus 27 over 4 equals m minus 3 over 2 whole squared plus 27 over 4 is greater than 0. We get m plus 3 equals 0 or m equals negative 3.